All right, boss man. So, guess what? Um, looks like my uh, my case came in for the what's it called? Uh, shadow something, right? Um, but yeah, so we're gonna open it, see if we could get a playset of each of the secret rares. Let's hope so. That'd be awesome, right? From a case. Um, I do have uh some tournament packs. That that I won. I did participate in the um, what's that that event, the shadow event, whatever. Um what's it? Where is it? So I do it. Oh I found my old mat, so that's awesome too. But I did gain a new mat as well. Oh, it's backwards. But anyways, here's this bad boy. Um so it was a weird interaction with it. This time I was not prepared for the event. Usually me and my buddies, uh, usually me and my buddy, will test play each stack and then determine or find or or well yeah pretty much determine which is the best deck to go in on uh, sealed, right? Uh, which would increase the chances of us winning. So, <clears throat> um, I ended up going um, so I ended up playing the first round. Uh, it was only four people. It wasn't a big tournament. I, I, cause it was during the YCS, so a lot of the people were gone. I would play, and the the, the car shop didn't promote the event either, so that kind of made it. Uh, uh, the turnout was bad. Um, but it was fine. Um, it was. I ended up being second place, even though I had the same record as the guy that won. The I don't know how it works. So, anyways, he won. We tied. He won the first. Round with vampires. Vampires is like the um, I would say it's probably the um, the beatdown deck of the thing. But I said I only played against four decks. I only played four decks, right? Well, or seen four decks. So I don't know which deck is the best one. So the decks I play, I saw or I played was uh, zombies, right? Vampires, I guess. Vampires. Um, the um, cosmic uh, necrocosmo deck, right, with the banish. That's two, the dragon one, uh, and then the um, the dragon, the red eyes would be the dragon one, and the the Amazonist, this which is the one I played. So I've not seen the Cloudians. I think was the Cloudians was the Dex. Gotta whip this thing out. Uh, so which Dex did I not see? Uh, let's see. So I did not see the hero, the Supreme King one, right with the evil heroes. Uh, I did see the red, the red eyes one, right? Uh, Shadow Raiders. So which one was this one? Oh, there's the vampire one. I said it was, it was a good deck. It was a, like a beatdown deck. Um, this was the Amazonas deck. So these two, I saw the Archfiend. I didn't see the Archfiend deck. Uh, I did see the, the one with the, was it? Macrocosmos, right? The banished one. And I. Which one was it? Where else? This one I saw another one. Was that three? Oh, the red eyes, right? Alright, so that's four. So I didn't see the. The, um, the Claudian one. I didn't see the. Um, was it the Sacred Beast? I didn't see the Archfiend one. And I didn't see the. The um, Hero one. So I don't. I can't tell. I can't tell you which ones are better. I just. I just. Could tell you which one the one I use. So if you guys are going to the event, you might try this deck. So Vampire was a pretty good deck as a beatdown, but uh, I ended up winning against the other three. So he did beat me because I the first deck I tried was the Banish the Macrocosmo. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm like I'll try it just because I hadn't like I have not read any of these cards. I don't know what's going on. I just went in. I didn't even know there was an event. I just went in there. Telling them, hey, when are you guys going to have the event? It's like, oh, we have it right now. I'm like, oh, really? Like, you guys didn't promote it or nothing like that. They're like, oh, yeah, you're right. We forgot because the YCS or whatever is going on. So they didn't bother promoting it. Only four people. And I think one of the guys had to be enticed <laughs> into doing it or have. Because it was like, um, it was a buy-in of $30, right? Which is the. Um, so a lot of people didn't want to participate because the buy-in was kind of high. Um, but. And we ended up playing um, first round. I said it was against the uh, using vampires. He just tore me apart with the um, 
with the neck the Mako Cosmo. I was like, dude, I'm gonna switch decks because this is not in like in the in the sealed format for speedos. You can switch decks as a side deck. So I just switched to a different deck. And I and I thought just glance on it, I thought Amazonis was I was like I could maybe I, I was just thinking maybe I could burn him or something with um Swordswoman. Uh, that's the only thing I was thinking of. Um, so I ended up winning, uh, we ended up, I ended up going, we ended up going to time and I won the second round. Um, uh, but like, I don't know what's for speedos. No, like, it seems like, oh, they just said it's a tire or whatever. And then we, I went against, uh, again, I went against, uh, the macrocosmo guy and he went against, um, the red eyes guy. We both tool our opponents, um, and then then we we since it was a three round and it was just four people we would switch and then we both tooled our opponent. Um, the only thing that I that I noticed was that the where is it um, the Amazonas deck. If we would if we were if we were in time, I'm hundred percent sure that I would have been in that vampire deck. So if I would have started with the Amazonas deck. I'm 100% sure I would have been able to take down that vampire deck. The Amazonas has such so many such like really good cards, man. The trap cards are really good. The spell cards are really good. Uh the monsters are okay, but like you with the field spell like they float and it's like god, man, it's like it's so good. The deck's so good. So I personally have not tried the other four, right? But uh, the, the, the four I did mention, Amazonas seemed to be the best deck. So if you guys want to, uh, if you guys don't want to take my word for it, you can try it out. But I would recommend Amazonas out of all the ones. I feel this one, the Clicker Beast is, it's not like I don't think it's, it will be as consistent. I would the ones I would be scared of would be the Cloudian. I don't know. I've never played the deck, but when I was looking at how many cards we get in the from the Cloudian uh, Arch type. It's like most of them, like, I think we're missing like one or two cards or like one card from the Archtop or the Claudian, uh, uh, the Claudian deck. So I was like, this is pretty much the whole, this is the whole deck right here. So I, I would be kind of scared of that just because I know it's like pretty much everything. I didn't try it out because I've, again, I've never used the Claudian uh, before. So yeah, anyways, uh, and the hero deck, I don't know. I was, it seemed pretty good, but. Uh, the super poly, I thought it wasn't like it was gonna. I don't know. I just I was just like ah, super poly won't work on it or whatever. Um, so the only ones I would really and I don't know, Archfiend one seems pretty cool, but never like I said, I've never tried it. But out of those four, go with the Amazonis. If you want to try if you're gonna if you lose with uh, one of the decks they're using, I would switch or whatever. But I don't know, man. Well, yeah, let's 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 break. Let's open these up. All right, let's. I got three. Uh, this time, hopefully, I get um, uh, what's it called? A ultra rare out of these. Uh, no. Ooh, okay. So for the sake of time, I'll probably just like kind of see what's going on, well, really fast. Uh, and then last one, come on, baby. I do like the cards, but ultra rare, ultra rare, baby. Yeah, no ultra. Rare. All right, so let's open up and see if we can get a place out of each uh, secret rare, shall we? Shall we? All right. Ugh. So again, like I keep on telling you guys, like I don't think there's a such thing as a US print for the Speedo cards because every case of order, either from NA or Euro print, uh, it's always had the same uh, opening or the same box that says made in um, Belgium, right? I think it's Belgium. Yeah, Belgium, made in Belgium. So I think all these uh, all these cards are Euro print. I think that, which is why the print is so nice, probably. That's why I'm assuming. So don't worry about trying to find a, um, a US print when all your prints are gonna be the same. And I, like I said, I have compared them before with the, the um, the printings and they're both the same there's no color difference there's nothing so don't worry about getting your your euro print one or your 
American your NA print uh, card or whatever because they're all made in uh, Belgium. All right, which is uh, Euro print. All right, let's see. Oof. Ooh, there you go. So it, the case comes with 12 of these little boxes. Okay. Uh, the, what is it called? Uh, I keep on forgetting the name. So many stuff. Um, you guys see it? Uh, Duelist of the Shadows. But anyway, so I'll just put this on the floor and let, we'll take them out. Nope. Alright, so, so I'll just open the first half first, then I'll just be running, uh, or should I just open, just be running everything? Uh, we're already going on 11 minutes. I don't want it, I don't want it to be too long for, so, let's see. I'll just do some of it really quick. Um, and I'm, like, really loving these boxes, man. Like, compared to, like, uh, where is it? Uh, Digimon. But anyways, I, I think I'm making a Digimon channel too. Um, like these are cool and nice, but they're kind of bulky. I feel this, like this is for storage, and this is like a a deck box. I feel like, so I, I'm I'm really liking these size. I, I I would like them to continue doing this size of um, if they're gonna continue doing like these um eight decks or whatever two hundred card releases. I think I'd rather have these. Oh, I already have enough of these, so I'm fine, whatever. Um, but I think this is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I opened multiple cases of those big ones. They're kind of bulky. Uh, but this is kind of nice. This is cool. It's like a deck box and a storage. It's like big enough to be a deck box. And, and uh, well, it's big enough to be storage and small enough to be a deck box, right? All right, let's see. Uh, like I said, we all have seen the cards, so we're gonna fast forward to that. All right. Ah, damn it, my blade. There it goes for rushing. Oof. All right, let me just take that out. So I can do at least half of it. Ah! Everything is falling. See out of a case, baby. Let's see if we can pull at least a, a place out of each. We should, right? Hopefully, is it matter that is it mathematical? Is it mathematically possible to pull to do a to get a place it? Got to do the math. I might be jumping to conclusions. There is five. I don't know how many secrets there is, is there. I need to search. I need to, I need to pause this video and do some some uh, research before I, I make. I should have made this video, I guess. So we're gonna find out at the same time. Oh. So hopefully I'll start making some of these decks. Okay. I got one. Two, three, four, five. All right, last one. And then I'll do the other ones. All right, let's see. All right. 14 minutes. I oh, should I make it? Let me just spin some of these. Ugh, trash. Stop sticking to me. Ugh.
Okay, last one. All right, and then before I cut. All right, 15 minutes, that's good. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, so I did the math, and mathematically, I could have never pulled a playset of these. All right, so I did it. All right, so there is 22 uh, secrets, I believe. There's 22 secrets in total, and I, a display box comes. Oh, I'm sorry, display box. A case comes with a case comes with 12 of these boxes. So that would give me a total of 60 secrets, right? In total, all right? Or somewhere around there, it should give me 60 or 60 years, not including the the secret beast or whatever. Um, what else? Oh, and then um, uh, there if I would want to place it right, uh, and I would get three of each, it would be 66. So it's not it mathematically is impossible to get a place it of each. But I will tell you my ratios or whatever. So I ended up getting a bunch of these. This is the one I got four of or whatever. Uh, the golden homunculus, or I don't know what it's called, this trap card, uh, aqua chorus, and I got a bunch of uh, lower darkness. Um, like I said, it's just a case, so I'll, my I might have gotten luck with the lords of darkness, um, or whatnot. Uh, this is what I got. Uh, what is, it? is this a an again uh, another four of? So Amazonis, I got four of those Amazonis, uh, four of the fog kings, four of the um, um, dark fusions. Uh, this is my three ofs. So I got three evil hero malicious, three uh, Helios, three ill bloods, three Amazonist queens, three arm dragon tens, and three uh, cyber dragons. So even with the case, like I was only able to get um, three of these. So these, yeah, uh, maybe it's something, maybe they're more harder to get. Maybe it's just my case. Maybe our case sucked. But I was only able to get three cyber dragons. Um, so then this is my two of. So I don't know. It might be there might be more rare than, or just my case. I don't know. Uh, DD Crow, like I said, it's just a case, so we don't know. DD Crow two, uh, Skull Darkness Vampire Genesis. Um, this was weird to me. If I only got one, uh, well, two. Uh, Vampire Hunter Make a cause. I only have two, so I definitely need to buy more. Right. Um, to get my was it my collection going? Only this is my one of uh Shine Flare Wingman, so I don't know if it's that rare. Uh, rare, rare. Oh, never mind. I got two Shining Wingman, but I only got one Super Poly and one Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. So I don't know if it was my case, but Super Poly seems like it might be a rare card, and it is considered one of the most expensive cards in the set, and probably the more sought after by advanced players. So maybe that makes sense. Why is it the most expensive? But anyways, so hopefully you enjoyed my case opening, and I guess I need to buy some more. And hopefully I'll come up with a um, a giveaway soon. But I like I said, I still uh, I still need more stock. Uh, but anyways, have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. Don't talk to strangers. See you. Oh, subscribe.